you only want to know what it is I've done and don't care about how it works, how I've made it, then here it is. It is a one clock or a one tick clock using only redstone dust and torches. The pistons and repeaters here are simply to show that it works. It was previously thought by as far as I can find everyone, that the fastest clock that you can make using just redstone dust and torches was a four clock. So in order to understand how this works, we have to go back a bit. A few days ago, I had the idea to try and make a monostable circuit using nothing but redstone dust and torches. Basically, a monostable circuit is a system that when given any length input, whether it is permanently on and off or on for length of time and then off, it will only give a short one tick pulse as an output. And we can check that this is correct because a sticky piston, when given a one tick pulse, will spit out its block and not retract it. These are used all the time in redstone. For example, over here, I used one when designing my 4x4 piston door. And the completed design, you can see it under there, I'm turning the door on and off. And so I thought, what if I could have a button that, when pressed, it sends an output? but also sends another output that immediately turns the first output off, giving a short one tick pulse. And that is exactly what this is here. You can see these here are two repeaters, but it's better to think of them more as this one just as a delay, and this one only so that we can turn the output off midway through. So this works exactly as I explained it. When this lever is flicked, it turns this torch off, allowing this torch to turn back on. But at the same time, it sends or signal over here, turning this torch off, turning this torch back on, turning this one off. This works because this side takes three ticks because it has three torches in oh because it has three torches involved, but this side takes two ticks, meaning that is turned off, and then this one comes around a tick later, turning it back off again. This is a rising edge monostable circuit, meaning that it is activated whenever the output, whenever the input sorry, is turned on. Again, this piston here is not part of the system itself, it's just to show that it does in fact give a one tick output. Over here we have the falling edge monostable circuit, meaning it is activated when the input is turned off. And you can combine these two to create the dual edge monostable circuit, which gives a one tick output when the input is turned on and off. Now there is one major problem with this design, and that is that half the time it doesn't work. I don't know why, and it hasn't been happening recently, but sometimes this torch just doesn't register the fact that it's not being powered for that one tick, and so doesn't give an output. I have no idea why this is, it's probably a quirk of beta redstone, but sometimes systems that have been working fine for ages simply stop, and there's no way to get them working again. And sometimes when you build one, it just won't work. As far as I know so far, there is no way to get around this, so you simply have to keep rebuilding them until you get one that finally works. I don't think it's anything to do with where in the world the torch is placed, because I've rebuilt it in the same place, and then one block over as well, and in different places, and it consistently just doesn't work. And it's also not directional, so it doesn't matter if it's facing this way or that way, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. At first when I made this design, I realised it might end up being kind of pointless because the only point of having a one tick pulse is to make sticky pistons spit out their blocks and if you have access to pistons you might as well make the smaller version that is much easier to do but then i realized that if i just stacked a bunch of them next to each other with a slight delay in between i could use it to make a one tick clock so it turns on for one tick then off then on then off again and again and again forever the reason this was previously thought to be impossible is because if you have redstone torches flickering that fast, then they burn out and the system, whole system will turn off. The way I got around this was simply by having multiple of them. So rather than the same torches turning on and off that would eventually burn out after powering this, you simply have different ones going off at different times. They're all set far enough apart that they don't burn out and they still provide the same one tick clock output. And so that is what I've done here. You can see we have the input going into this first clock, then a two tick delay going into the next one, then into the next one. This one I had to go around the, ba uh, around the back here because building it here it just simply would not work. Some of you who have been playing this game for a very long time or are simply interested in old redstone like me might recognize this as a five clock, which is pretty much the fastest clock you had back in the day. If I turn this on, or I'll turn this off, it allows it to go on, and you can see that the output 
and turns on for five ticks, or half second, then off for five ticks. Hence the name five tick clock, or just five clock for short. You can see that when the five clock is powering all of these, they give the one tick clock output. I don't know what you call it. But yeah, you can see from this piston that is consistently spitting out this block. It is also freezing for a second, which makes me think that one of these has decided to stop working. But it doesn't look like it. Generally, redstone components don't like being given really short outputs. You can see from the repeaters over here that if I pause it, Oh, wow. What I was going to point out is this, the three here. So this is not like an accurate representation of the input it's getting. This is actually meant to be off, but because repeaters don't like one tick inputs, it decides to be on anyway. Is That's what I think is happening. That's the only explanation I can come up with, which is supported by something I'll show you later. But this giving the twos, that is very interesting. That makes me think that turning this off and then back on again has somehow stuffed it up, which is very likely. And so I think that's why this isn't working as well as it was before. So that's the problem with this design is, although it works some of the time, it's very finicky and can often just stop working on you for no good reason. So it's not really sustainable for use, but it still works, which was something that, as far as I know, no one has ever done before. And here we can see a more modern version of it with the same five clock here then into the modern monostable circuits rather than my version, which then if we turn this on, gives the same piston output, is much more consistent than that design because it uses the pistons over here. And you can see that although this piston is clearly having very fast one tick inputs, the repeaters do not like that and are giving a mostly constant stream with an inconsistent off repeater in there, which supports the repeaters being a little whack over here. One last interesting thing that I found before I end the video is this creation. So the way this works is it's the same five clock going into this one piston here, then we'll go into this monostable circuit, and then that then powers the next monostable circuit, powering them after each other. And so you might think what this does is it powers this one, gives an output, powers that one, and the next one and then they all just go up in a wave and then back down again as the five clock turns on and off. But what it actually does is this, which I find very interesting because I don't know why exactly it would be like this. You can see when I turn this on again, that it goes to the fifth and to the second then the third and the second then the fourth and the second then the third and the second and back to the fifth. It follows the same pattern, but there's no clear reason why that's the pattern it should follow. Alright, so it is two days later. We are on 1.12, this is a copy of the world. And you can see over here that they are both working completely fine. I think it's to do with the redstone torch updating being fixed. We go over here, here are the more compact designs. I made this one still doesn't work, so I'll have to fix that. But this one now does. So the dual edge works as well, except for the falling edge section, which is strange as it's because as it's the exact same as over here. There is no difference between them. This one works and this one doesn't. And I have no idea why. It might be to do with this updating. Yeah, it is because that's you can see the line isn't turning on. I don't know, it's evidently still a bit weird. Alright, so if I try this one, we can see that it is working fine. And from the repeaters, they're behaving exactly as expected, except for this one. You can see it isn't updating whatsoever. But then if we go to here, then it starts updating. If we take that back, then this one stops updating, and then this one. So again, there's just some funky things going on with one tick rolls. But other than that, the clock fully works. This thing over here is still... No, actually it's behaving consistently now. Oh, that... That would be because the signal's not going directly into this. That. They're still doing the same pattern. That's very interesting. And this is another design that I came up with. Uh, where's the lever? Didn't work in the older versions because these wouldn't update and 
it appears the same problem is happening here. No, the same problem is not. I think I'm just a bit of an idiot, maybe? And the end one's still behaving weirdly. It seems like it's being turned on for a tick longer than it should at the end. That might be it. This one is still the best design as of now. Hello, it's me, post editing ill. I'm back again. I tried out the torch design and I think it works. I mean, the piston appears to be behaving the same as it is over here. The repeater's being weird as usual, but <laughs> I've just come to expect that. I think this works. I'm not sure. I said two or three before, but I think it has to be five. Otherwise, it doesn't work. That's from what I tested. And so far, I've had no trouble with the torches not working, although I haven't tested this a bunch. This is just the second time I've made it. But in rebuilding it a bit and just figuring stuff out, I haven't had a single torch not working, so it seems like this is a lot more consistent than that one over there. But that doesn't mean anything if, the, if it isn't given the proper output. But I think it is. I'm not sure. Might have to do a bit more testing. I know I said that everything after this would just be the 1.12 stuff, but there you go, it's a treat for you people who stuck around. Probably just talking to myself if I'm honest. One thing though with this design here is when you log out and log back in to the world, this one stops while this one keeps going after getting started again. But this one completely stops and it has to be updated before it gets going again. And so, yeah, that's the end. That's everything that I've come up with so far. Well, no, that's not true. I have some other ideas, but they're not quite finished yet, and they'll be saved for another video. Just thought I'd turn on all these so you can see how badly it lags it, back before everything was optimised. And, well, yeah, thanks for watching.